today we are talking about uh, effects of heat on food so usually right we take food because of uh, its nutrients um, maybe it's carbohydrate protein fats and all that right uh, when you are uh, taking food right we take food after heating it we'll discuss about what happens to these nutrients when it is heated so we t- uh, we talk uh, this is a flow chart just go through with this flow chart right we talk about each and every nutrient with that first we start with the uh, proteins so these proteins are right uh, when it is the heat is applied to proteins right they become coagulate example when you are heating uh, applied on egg it becomes uh, the thick it becomes thick the opaque part of the albumin will be converted into white color and it will become firm it looks like it has become little shrink so what happens right uh, this is known as coagulation so the pro, uh, the process of cooking protein is known as coagulation right so uh, what happens right if it is over coagulated if it is cooked for a long time what happens it will become rubbery you know if you are a non vegetarian you would have uh, understood uh, sometimes where the meat is too much cooked right you will be keep on chewing the meat at one stage what you feel like right you feel like to throw because it loses out its flavor and juices and the meat will become dry and you don't feel like to swallow it and you'll throw it this is one of the sign that mm-hmm. the meat is overcooked and second thing uh, if you are a vegetarian you can see that somebody whenever we go to a restaurant right he would have given a very hard paneer when he given hard paneer means there may be a two reasons either it is overcooked when it is made as a paneer or it is cooked more in the gravy when it is cooked more in the gravy the paneer will become hard when uh, when milk is getting coagulated right at that time it is heated for a long time maybe the paneer has become hard so whenever you are cooking po- paneer or uh, uh, meat right uh, overall it is a protein right it will start coagulating whenever it is overcooked it will become a little harder and uh, it is not suitable for consuming the connective tissues in uh, is converted into gelatin which is insoluble in water and render digestible so what happens when it is overcooked right it will not be digestible right and the next one is carbohydrates these carbohydrates what happens right when it is cooked with the water when it is cooked with the water it it uh, uh, the molecules of sugar molecules starch molecules what happens right uh, they start comes out and it is mixed with the uh, it is mixed with the water and it will become the uh, the liquid will become thick so this process is known as gelatinization this happens only with the starch when the starch comes out you can see that when you are cooking rice uh after cooking rice the li- remaining liquid whatever it is there right it will become thick means right the uh, the starch molecules what is there in the rice right it has come and mixed with the water and this water has become thick this process is known as gelatinization it is one of the important topic there may be a question that what is gelatinization right and the next one yeah, is right sugar sugar what happens right whenever it is cooked with the presence of water right it will be dissolving in the water right it uh, uh, the dissolving capacity will increase according to the temperature if the temperature of the liquid is more it will dissolve more amount of sugar content if the uh, temperature is less the dissolving capacity will be less whenever it is cooked without with uh, whenever it is cooked without uh, uh, moisture what happens sugar starts burning and will slowly change its color once it turns to golden brown we call it as a caramel it has a lovely taste but what happens once if you little neglecting the cooking process what happens immediately it will turn to black jack the total taste will turns to bitter and uh, it is not suitable for cooking right now and the next is uh, uh, fats right what happens right uh, we, with high degree of fat undergoes uh, partial decomposition and the fatty acids and glycerols are produced 
uh, what happens uh, when the fat is cooked for a, lo a long time right it starts smoking and uh, uh, the fat will convert into oil when it is heated right uh, when it is heated right first it will start smoking the point where it is uh, start smoking is called as the smoking point all the different oils has a different smoking point for example olive oil has a uh, very less smoking point butter has very less smoking point that's why when you put in a butter on a hot tub immediately it will start smoking and uh, that's why butter is not suitable for frying olive oil is not suitable for uh, for frying it is only suitable for making salads and uh, sometimes it is sa sauteing because right of is its smoking point like mustard oil peanut oil these are much more suitable for frying because it has very less amount of smoking point palm olive oil is good for uh, frying deep frying because right it is uh, very less amount of smoking point okay next is uh, uh, minerals vitamins and uh, pigments what happens is these minerals vitamins and pigments are volatile in nature means they will not uh, uh, resist uh, to do towards the heat once the heat is applied immediately what happens right uh, it will take away uh, the minerals will get volatile and it will go into the air so our aim is right we cannot eat uncooked food in the most of the cases so what we need to do we need to make sure that you cook at a shorter time and you cook at, at a uh, very low temperature so whichever can be useful uh, you need to go ahead with that and uh, see though so that minimum loss will be there whenever you heat there will be a loss our as a chef our main role will be right to control the loss how much it can be possible right and it can be done by choosing a right good cooking method whenever you are cooking mm, cooking at an high temperatures like whenever you are roasting at around 300 degrees centigrade whenever you are roasting at 400 degrees centigrade in the tandoor what happens all the nutrients will go away so that's why we need to make sure that uh, you need to choose an, a better temperature uh, for doing all that this is this is the final and uh, uh, we talk about the next topic in the next class see you for today jai hind thank you